YouTube, what is up guys? Welcome back to the Power 9 Quest. My name is Andy and today uh, we're doing something fun. We are pitting Pokemon versus Magic cards. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have four packs of modern Pokemon, modern Magic, and we're going to add up the prices on the TCG Player app and see which of these two card games come out on top uh, as far as value goes. Oh, it's gonna be fun. This is my first, uh, I don't know if anyone's done this online, so I'm sorry if I'm appearing, appearing and copying them. Um, I just got the idea and thought it was gonna be fun, so uh, let's get do it. Okay, here we go. All right, so let's just take a look at the packs. Um, we have Sword and Shield, two packs of Hidden Fates, and one Cosmic Eclipse. The reason why I did this is because I meant to get a Unified Minds, and then I screwed up and I didn't. So uh, I have a ton of Hidden Fates, I just busted out that. And it's gonna be hilarious if I somehow pull the shiny Charizard GX out of this video instead of an actual Hidden Fates video. Uh, well, this video will frankly have a super different title if that happens. Um, um, then we have Theros Beyond Death, we have Throne of Eldraine, Modern Horizons, and Core Set 2020. Um, I am more excited to open up, well, I don't know. You know what, this is actually very interesting because I love I like Cosmic Eclipse, but I really like these two sets of Pokemon. Um, and then, it just magic in general. I love magic. Uh, Modern Horizons and Throne of Eldraine are fantastic sets. Uh, and I don't know. I'm pretty 50-50. Uh, I think my money, if I was have to, if I was have to guess which is going to be more valuable, um, I'm gonna, I would go... Actually, I don't know. I would say Pokemon, you have a bigger chance of hitting a card that's worth a bunch. But I, f I feel like on average... There are cards in here that are worth a few bucks. Like, I feel like Pokemon's either worth, like, a substantial amount or nothing. And I could be totally wrong on that. That's just where my mind's going right now. Um, okay, so we'll just do one pack at a time. Um, Cosmic Eclipse. Which, actually, I guess we should be doing Hidden Fates first. It's okay. All right. Boom, 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 boom. There's that code. And one, two, three, four... Roller Skater, that's an hilarious card. Just, I, I don't see anyone rollerblading anymore, so when I see that Pokemon card, I'm like, huh. And it's not even like, they're not even roller skates, are they? They're roller blades. That's hilarious. Okay, Drillber, Tangela, Eevee, Duskull. Uh, oh, we're already here. Ab Absol and a Seismitoad. Um, okay, there we go. See, I don't think those that was worth anything. And you know what? Core set 2020. What are the ley lines? Ley lines are decent. Um, isn't there a? Is there a? There's Chandra's decent. I forget. You know what? It's been a second since I have um, since I have really paid attention to Core set 2020 or opened them. I kind of forget about it. Centaur Corsair. But man, dude, Magic sure is the the best looking card game. It's so beautiful. Even today, the artwork is just awesome. Feel of summer. All right, we're getting to the uncommons. Lightning Stormkin. Oh wow. Okay, that's the smaller. That's not the mythic Chandra, but that's still awesome. Okay. Uh, I have to think that's worth a couple bucks. We are gonna find out at the end of this. All right. Go back to Pokemon. Our first hidden fate pack. Boom, 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 boom. There is a code card for you. One, two, three, four. All right, and we're off. Scyther, Metapod, Magmar, Psyduck, Pikachu, good luck, Magikarp. All right, oh, we did not pull a, uh, ooh, we got something special back here, though, some sort of GX Pokemon Center Lady, and a Gyarados GX, cool. Um, those are, I think those are worth a few bucks, actually. All right, so maybe we're even Stevens on this, which I, I would like to put this out there that I never say the phrase even Stevens, but it just happened, so what do you believe? Okay. All right, Modern Horizons. I am excited for this one. Um, and it, what is it? It's back here, right? I think it's the this, the land. And then this would be if there's a rare. Okay, so uh, we'll go this way. Ooh, Ruination Rioter, Barren Moon. Look at that artwork. This is what I'm talking about. I loved, I still do. I love Modern Horizons. It is such a fun set. I actually finally finished... I authentically pulled the whole set. That was pretty fun. Lava Dart. That's cool. Bird. All right, we're getting into it, guys. There's the artwork. There's the forest. Ooh, we got a foil. Answered prayers. Or no, there's a foil in every set, right? Or every pack. I forget. I'm going crazy. And 
Endling, not nothing too crazy. Um, I don't know. You know what? I right now I don't know who's doing better. But we do have another hidden face here. So it, it's really just gonna come to if we pull a big card on either side. I actually did this. Wow, that was that really messed with my brain right there because it only felt like one card. Um, three, four. Uh, what is it? I was I got these packs to do this, and I, I successfully got the Unified Minds pack. So I had all the the packs I was supposed to, and then uh, I was just sitting there like on Thursday night, and I was like, I'm just gonna open these. I want to open some packs. I'm gonna open these and I'll rebuy them. And it was junk. I, like this is already way better than what I pulled. So I'm I'm kind of glad that I like. My willpower. Oh, we didn't pull anything that fantastic. We got the Gyarados GX. And I feel like with the Chandra and the Gyarados, it's pretty even right now, like I said. But there are some fantastic cards in in uh, Throne of Eldraine. And even, you know, Theros just came out. So there's some cards that are worthwhile on there. Um, two, three. I got into this really bad habit of counting the commons as I go. Because if it's only nine commons, that means you get a foil in the pack. So uh, I've already lost track, So, I, but it feels like a lot of commons. So I feel like we did not get a foil. All right, here is the rare. Uh, oh, you know what? That was, and a foil Frogify. That was worth a, a decent amount when the set first came out. But lately, it's, I don't think it's worth anything, which is a bummer. Because I used to, it took me a while. I would be excited to pull it, then I would, like, I would check TCG. I'd be like, oh, yeah. But every time I see it, I get excited. All right. And here is our sword and shield. Okay, one, two, three, four. And we are off. Bisharp. Evolution Incense. Vitality Band. Is that really? Oh, I thought those were crab claws on them. That's hilarious. Okay, Sobble. There's our dude. Pincher. What is, what is this dude? Pincurchin. I'm actually just now going through Sword and Shield, the video game, so. Hopefully I'll actually get better at this. Oh, a score bunny. These are gorgeous. Oh, and we pulled something good, guys. Oh. <laughs> yeah, all right, Pokemon won. Pokemon absolutely won. I cannot believe we pulled that. Uh, when I first pulled this, I had no idea how much this thing was worth. And this thing goes for like 35 bucks. All right, wow. That was amazing. And like I said, it's just gonna go to whether who wins the, the first uh, who, who picks the... Who pulls a good card is probably what it's going to come down to. But I like this concept a lot. If you guys like this, there's like literally nothing in this that I that I think that could outdo this. In a regular pack, if we had a collector's pack maybe, uh, but in a regular pack, I don't think we can do it. Um, but I will. I'm going to tally them up and I'll tell you guys the total. But if you guys like this idea, let me know and, I, and I'll do more. And we can even do it with like old, old packs of Pokemon versus old packs of Magic. That'd be kind of fun too. Uh, yeah, there's that weird snake snake lady uh all right yeah there we go pokemon you are the winner but let's find out okay the totals are back guys magic got a whopping total of five dollars and 78 cents um uh we've got the Gravebreaker lamia at 28 cents we got the emery lurker of the lock at two dollars and 22 cents we've got the endling at 22 cents and then we have chandra acolyte of flame at three dollars and six cents now pokemon's actually super interesting we got the Seismitoad at 13 cents. We've got the Gyarados GX at $1.82. We've got the Mr. Mime at 12 cents. And then we have the Zacian V at $35.72, which makes a total of $37.79. Now, clearly, Pokemon wiped the floor with Magic's total, but th this is what I was kind of talking about is that the junk rares in Pokemon were like 12 cents and the junk rares and magic were a little more expensive. I also got two rares that were worth a couple bucks. Um, so on average, I feel like you're, you're hit, even the bad rares and magic are worth a little more. Um, but when you, I, but I, like I said, I feel like it's just a little easier to hit a banger in Pokemon. I don't know. Uh, well, I'm gonna continue this series. If you guys like this, let me know. Um, I'll be back with more videos. So if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button, and I would totally appreciate that. Um, this is uh, just one big, awesome, nerdy passion project of a channel for me. Um, ultimately, I'm going for the Power Nine in Magic to actually open them up, and, I'm, and the adventure is going pretty good so far. Um, so if you want to get, get involved with that or just see me open card packs, hit the subscribe button. I would appreciate it. I'm done. My baby's sleeping on the other side of that wall, and I hope that filming this video didn't wake him up, but this was my, my one shot to do it. And my wife was like, just go ahead and do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put him down. Don't worry about it. 
but everyone, just don't worry about it. I'm gonna go. Okay, there is another episode. Uh, I really like this concept for a video, so if you want to see more, let me know in the comments. And of course, hit the subscribe button, and that'll sign you up to see more. Um, but that is it. I just found out I have to go to Target tonight because my wife asked me to, and that's that's a thing in life. And I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do it.